Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to see how to make an equatorial sundial. First what you have to do is go to our website skullandskill.com go to astronomy pages free learning resources you will find buttons over there to print this download this from. I have already taken a printout for you. Now what you have to do is you can see two circular faces over here which you will be cutting out from this page later and you see a latitude strip over here. What this latitude strip means is the points at these latitude strips they show the angle of latitude, the latitude angle of your place. So suppose you, you are living at a place which has a latitude of 25 degrees. It's very simple to find the latitude of your place. You go on the Google and search the latitude of by putting putting the name of whichever place you are living in. Just search the latitude for that. For example, latitude for Jaipur and you will find the latitude angle. What you have to do now is take a stick, align its bottom to the bottom part of the strip. Please also notice that this is north direction shown and this is the south direction. It's very important. Please look at it very carefully. You have to place this stick like this such that its bottom part is aligned with the bottom of the latitude strip. Now suppose your place's latitude angle is 25. So mark this stick over here with a sketch pen or a marker, whatever you have. Mark it like this. Once you have marked it with this, keep it aside. Then in the next step, cut these circles out. These are the faces. I have already taken these circles out for you. Look something like this. These are the exact circles I have taken out. If you see on these circles, you will see that there is a north face and there is a south face and there is a center line in between. Also observe that these faces have been marked by times, hour hand. Look at it. This is 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 p.m., then 1, 2, 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m. The same is on the other face as well. Now what you have to do is fold it along this center line. You can see this center line over here. Fold it along this center line like this. The north face has to point northwards. And the south face has to point southwards. You take that stick just now, which you, which you marked, take that stick and punch a hole through it. Put it in from the south face so that it comes out from the north face like this. You slide the circles to the mark which you have made earlier. See, here is the mark. You're sliding it up till here like this. This is your sundial ready to be used. I have made a copy for you, which is a little different from this. I have placed a thick board in between these two faces so that it stays at its place and it's much sturdier than this. So you can place a hard thick board between these faces. And once you do that, it will stay 90 degree to this stick. This, these faces have to stay perpendicular 90 degree to this stick. So this is how it would look like. You will also have a stand with it. The line where you folded these circles, you will have a stand with it. So let me put this aside. Now, how do you place it? You take this and you place it in such a way that the stick points towards the north pole, towards the north direction in the sky. 
the bottom of the stick will be in the south direction. How to find the north direction? Go at night, find Polaris. You can use any sky mapping application. Find the Polaris star. It will be in the north direction. The Polaris star always is in the north direction. That is how we find north. Once you have the north, you know which direction this stick has to be pointed. Now you know the north direction, which is in this direction. You put it towards the north direction. Go out in the roof, go out on the roof under the sun in the broad daylight. Put it like this. This is north, this is south, this is north. You put it like this and you will see this shadow which was made by the sun, the shadow of this stick traveling through the face of this circle. I'll show you how. So I'm using a torch right now. So this is east direction. So look, the light is coming from the east. Look at the shadow over here. Right now the shadow is over there. You can see the shadow. Observe how that shadow is moving as I'm moving my torch, which is kind of a sun right now, towards the east. So right now, my sun, which is my torch, is moving. Look at how shadow is moving. Observe the shadow. So right now, it is at the top. Look, shadow is at the 12 p.m. This point is 12 p.m. The one at the bottom where it is resting. And now the sun is going towards west to be set in few hours. Look at the shadow. Look at the shadow that is moving towards the right side. 1 p.m. Then 2 p.m. Then 3 p.m. Like that. And once the sun is set, your sundial will not work. Anyway, so the shadow will start from here. It will move along this circle and come to this point as the sun is going from east to the top and then to the west. The shadow will move along the circle like this. One thing you have to understand is the shadow will move through this face which is the north face when summers or spring is going on. Once winters or fall hits, you have to use this face. You have to keep it in this way only. You don't need to change the orientation. Once the winter comes in, the shadow will automatically be seen on this face, the one which is towards the south, automatically. Right now, summers are coming up. You need to use this, this face. Once the winters come, you, you need to use this face, the face which is southwards. It's very simple. The same way shadow will move. The same way shadow will move from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. and to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 p.m. like that. It's the same thing. Also, once you have placed this sundial onto the ground, the angle that this sundial is making, this assist, stick is making, the angle over here, the angle the stick is making with the ground, which is this angle, which is this angle. The angle which this stick is making with the ground is the latitude angle. So when you mark your stick at this place, at the start of this video, when you mark this stick at this place, look over here at this place and you make it stand on the ground, the angle that your sundial would be making with the ground is 25 degrees, this angle. The point is, whatever your latitude is, you have to tilt this stick with the ground at the angle which is equal to the latitude angle of your place. So even if you do not have this strip, you still have a protractor with you which you can use to tilt it appropriately basis latitude of your place. So you know you're not completely dependent on this strip. This is just for assistance. The main philosophy, the main idea is to tilt this stick with an angle equal to the latitude angle of your place. Do that and you won't need this. This is your sundial ready to be used. 
just put it in a way this is stick points to north direction and follow the shadow that's it it's that simple we really hope that you understood what we showed over here the making and use of sundial if you have any queries feel free to get in touch you can call or ping us on 9680648958 or drop an email at skullandskill at the rate gmail.com with any issues or any queries you might have we will definitely get back to you and resolve those thank you so much for listening